Hello, I thought I might talk about the research project main task. Um, usually students are interested and curious for, for their teacher to talk about this and this generally is the first question we get as teachers. Tell us a bit about what exactly I'm doing in this research, what project or what's the ultimate goal. And so I guess the ultimate goal is the development of a research report or project or product of some sort. Um, and that's due in the very end of the course in Module D. I'm just clicking on Module D now and in Week 2. Um, but that's about 14, 15 weeks away from from what you might be looking at at the moment. So there's there's a bit of uh, um, stepping stones along the way to get there. And those stepping stones are mainly found in the rich tasks associated with each module and also the weekly content and course material that you'll be working on and developing throughout those um, 16 weeks or so part of, as part of the course. Um, now the the research product itself, it's actually quite open-ended and that's really a unique thing about this subject. Um, you'll have the option to develop your research question, um, to plan that out and to conduct um, some type of method that's appropriate, to do a little bit of background information about the research literature, um, and then to start to pull your stuff together and, and start to um, develop some type of product of some sort. Now usually that's going to be um, a written report. That's generally what we're assuming a lot of the final research products will be. Um, some type of written report that includes an introduction, an explanation of the background and um, some discussions about your findings and some conclusions. And a lot of the, the course guides you through how to write a, a written report. But we also understand, and it's also an option as well, that you might like to present your final product in a whole host of other um, types of ways. Um, and this might include um, a video, um, it might include an audio recording um, or a presentation, um, it could also include, if you're a bit more of a hands-on person, it could also include some type of product um, where you show your experimentations with, with something, for instance, um, building or making something. Um, it could also be a combination of all those. Um, and that's really up for, to you to negotiate with your teacher as well. Um, just thinking about what type of question you've developed and what would be the appropriate um, final product and what's the intention of that product as well. Who's going to be your audience? So so just to, to recap, the final research product, that's it's all the way at the end in Module D in Week 2. But along the way, um, in each module, there's going to be rich tasks that basically are really just um, building blocks that you can then later on incorporate back into your final research product, product as well. Um, so really research itself is really a, um, a developmental thing where you're rehashing your ideas, refining, redeveloping um, in light of new material and new developments that you uncover in your thinking and in your research as well. Um, and really the rich module tasks um, guide you through that and they will be a key um, key tool or a key ingredient of developing a really good final uh, research project um, product in module D. Um, so that's that's just an overview of the research product. Um, if you want a little bit more information, feel free just to call or email your teacher. Um, there's also a couple of ideas developed at the start of module A where you start to think about 
well, what what type of product will my my research um, ultimately aim for? 